unpacking. By far my least favorite part of the trip. But what a trip we had. We did the Nation Lakes canoe route here in BC, Canada. And while the first two days were really wet, cold and miserable, once we got through the first stretch of river, things improved and they just got better from there. We saw a moose, that was really cool. We saw the most amazing sunsets. On Chendlo Lake, we visited the hot springs and we even found this old mining installation, which was really cool. So I'm gonna keep unloading the car and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you for watching. We just got dropped off at the start of our canoe route. Bye bye, Putin Point. We are off. So far we've seen what they call a diving hawk. We have seen a black bear. We have seen a dog attack the water. We have seen two wolves. We have seen a porcupine. And that's just on the drive in. How are we for depth? We made it to our first campground, which is very symbolically cold, big island campsite. Uh, it's symbolic because in our debates about what to do with our vacation, it was either between going to a tropical island or going on a canoe trip. And we didn't go to Hawaii, but we are on the big island. So we got a little bit of both. Camp is packed up. I didn't film a whole lot because it was kind of cold yesterday when we came here. And it's pretty cold and windy now too. Today at the end of this lake, we hit our first stretch of river. With the amount of wind, we wanted to stick close to shore, but on that side, that meant two extra kilometers of paddling. There was a break in the wind. We decided to book it across the lake. We just did. That worked out really well. There's a few islands here and we're going to sneak between them right there. Those guys fell from the wall there. I wish I'd seen that. Off brand Nutella and an apple. That's where it's at, people. We have just hit log jam number three. It's a big one. We've been led to believe it's number three of four. I hope that is correct. We carried the bag, basically climbing over a bunch of logs, and then on the way back realized there's an actual trail through the brush. 
So we're hitting that with a canoe. Can we squeeze through on the right there? Or on the left? Oh, we're totally clear there if we make it past this guy. Thing of beauty. Well, that was a tight fit. It appears that there's no more trees behind these trees. So we think that we've got one more bend to go and then we're in the clear, we're back on our lake. That is lake. Oh yeah! Two more slides. Well that's a cool way to be welcomed. Yeah, it's a begin and end. Oh, and there just went down a beaver. You might want to grab it, the waiver is right behind us. No, I don't need to, oh yeah. That's either elk or moose over to the right. There's some dark patches in the grass. Oh yeah, I think I see them. And they've moved, so they're definitely an animal. It looks like there's a big one and there might be a small one. And Moses looking straight at us. We have been pedaling in the dark for more time than we're comfortable with. But we just spotted, where is it? There it is, that's a sign. Oh, glad we made it. Time for a tent and a really hot cup of tea. That is probably the most tired dog you'll ever see. We came in very, very late last night some trouble finding our campground. We had a rough time getting through the river. Fun time, but rough. <laughs> it's supposed to be a rainy day, but a lot of rain fell yesterday and last night. The sun is peeking through the clouds. So we're gonna spend the day here. We're gonna have ourselves some breakfast and take a day to rest and play and fish and explore. It's gonna be a good day. Break.
right there is our campground. There's no firewood anywhere to be found. So we pedaled over, found some dead wood, and just went collecting some. <laughs> it doesn't have to be stable. We just have to make it 200 yards back to camp. Our little camp. And here's a pro tip. If you have guy lines that are perfectly at head height, hang some twigs or tie some grass. If you're like me and you've tied your own guy lines but still forget they're there, at least you can see the line very well. So far this place is not living up to its promise where even bad fishermen like me can catch fish. But it sure does live up to being pretty. Wow. It's a bluebird. It's a beautiful day. The wind is absolutely howling. So she's getting her jacket on and she is not impressed. The wind is going dead on where we're going. So we're loading the canoe very tail heavy. That'll make keeping it pointing downwind a bit easier. It's gonna be a good paddle. This, this place is just beautiful. There's not a cut block to be seen. There were moose. It's good fishing for people who know how to fish. I just for the life of me can't catch a fish, I don't know why. Try to make this look good. Break! Oh, <laughs> that one was worse. <laughs> we have reached the bottom of Indada Lake. It is a breathtaking place. But we have to say goodbye, move on, and we're about to hit the river right there. Chen Lo Lake. 
from the moment you enter the lake, you know you're on the big lake. Um, we're only in the narrow opening part and already it's just much wider than any of the other lakes we've been to. I guess he didn't want us here because we're disturbing his peaceful lodge building. So somewhere in here should be the wreck site. Right there is where we think the hot springs are. It's just so beautiful. It is pretty amazing when on one end you have a sunset like that and on the other end you have a moon rise like that. spot from the water but right there is a pool and right there is a pool and I think right there is a pool we have beached the canoe we're on our way to explore some hot springs dogs mostly preoccupied with all the mice that are running around in here as you walk up the knoll, you come up to your first set of hot springs. Effectively in a perfect hot tub shape. Regrettably there's a lot of pond scum. Here at the top of the knoll, there's another one. Quite shallow. You can follow the path. Where a hot pool drains. Because on the side there's grass, and wherever the water of the hot pools drain, you get this swath of wild growth. Really cool. Now, as you walk here, you get this really strong smell of mint. Mint is growing everywhere around these hot springs. It's quite strong. It's lovely, actually. The hot springs themselves don't smell at all, but the mint around them is really, really strong. And now we've come to the biggest hot spring of them all. It drains over there, goes over the edge, then runs out into the lake. This hot spring is rather pretty, but regrettably, the pond scum and the temperature work together to make them not pleasant to sit in. With a few hours of daylight left, we arrived at Progress Point and we're going to put up our tent on the other side so that in the morning we get the morning light. We're gonna pull the canoe around, make a camp, and uh, have some food. Every night, the first one to go to bed is this very tired dog. But, we are soon to follow. I eat his 
rip roaring to go. All right then. About to depart from our second campsite on Chantlo Lake and I thought I would take a moment to honor our canoe. I had never heard of a Coleman Ram X 17. It has been awesome. It has really lived up to its name. Whenever we come ashore now we lovingly refer to that as Ram X in it. Goodbye progress point. Right now we're practically in the middle of Chenmo Lake. We are riding the wind. And the wind is picking up enough that I'm kind of hoping I won't catch a fish. Oh, fish! Camp is right there on that point. I've come here downwind to do the processing. If anyone ever tells you that I claim to be good at cleaning fish, you can safely call them a liar. But that is dinner and it looks good. I have proven to be an absolutely terrible fisherman, but if I were to catch fish, what goes really well with it are these wild onions. right there and we're recharging ourselves so it's just one of those days we need those too
all over this beach that we're camping at, there's lots of sign of beaver. Branches that they've munched the bark off of, uh, some trees that have been fallen, drag marks in the sand where they got branches, drugged them to the water to bring them to the lodge, which I think is over there. But the biggest tour de force of those beavers is what I am currently sitting on. These industrious little critters have fallen this tree. It is huge. For comparison, here I've got just a regular big lighter. Look at the size of those teeth. They're still working on this one. Still standing. The chips they make are actually kind of pretty. standards we left at nine ish we woke up this morning to a change in the direction of the wind and a lot of smoke in the air we have no idea where this fire is hopefully it's not close it's a very eerie atmosphere and everything is just really quiet this looks like a really nice spot for wild onions it's also a great spot get some fresh water because there's a really cold creek. Rebecca walked over to the next point. I want to pick her up and she just told me there's an old mining camp. Let's go check it out. So we pulled over on this point a search of wild onions and fresh water and Rebecca meandered along the shore to the next bay and I followed in the canoe and she called me over because she found an old mining camp. Right here there's a little bit of a campsite and a few of these core samples. Really cool. But if you continue farther into the forest you will not believe what is stored there. Well, stored. It's just, it's just there. These are racks upon racks upon racks of core samples. Just goes on and on and on. This is an unbelievable sight. I'm very curious what happened because there's so many core samples. There must have been quite an operation here. Some prospecting thing. All right. We are going to keep going, but what a find that was. So cool. And we're back on the beach. It is quite lovely. When we arrived in Chantlow Lake, we were greeted by two swans. 
And as we're about to leave it, we are seen off by two swans. Goodbye, Chandlow Lake. Hello, last stretch of Nation River. this day ever turn around. Fish, let me, let me get back to you. And we're back. <laughs> wow, did this day ever turn around. When we woke up this morning on Chandlo, it was smoky, it was hazy, it was very depressing and eerie. And as we went through our last stretch of the Nation River this afternoon, things cleared up. The wind turned around and cleared the skies. Now we are approaching our very first campsite on Chuchi Lake and it appears to be a lovely one. It's really hard to get tired of beautiful sunsets, but if you want to try to be, do the Nation Lake canoe route. Every night has been stunning. The nights are getting cold. Do you think I should get out of bed? Did you come to get me? Okay. What are you doing? Out you go. Come on. Good girl. <laughs> I'm coming, pups. I'm coming. <laughs> oh, it's another beautiful day. And it's a cold morning. There's frost on the canoe. Something struck in the cove, yeah. See? That was in this spot. He's still on now. Oh, please stay on. Oh, please stay on. Wow, he is not happy. Got him! I got a fish! Oh my god, I got a fish! <laughs> We have a very weird dog. Flocka! What's this? What's that? 
Our dog won't eat fish. <laughs> it's raw, it's delicious. We've got a weird dog. The number of amazing sunsets here is bordering on the ridiculous. <laughs> it's our last night and once again we are seen off with a stunner of a sunset. For a fish is a wish in a dish, of course. A meal from a reel is the deal, of sorts. But the man with the plan for his pan did fail. For the fish didn't wish for a dish, of course. Yet in the blast of the cast in the last of time, the trout, though in doubt, helped out sublime. And the man with the plan for his pan did source the fish for his wish in a dish, of course. We're just about fecked up on the very last day of the Nation Lakes canoe route and this trip has been absolutely awesome. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It's nice to know that you enjoyed watching it. And if you really want to make my day, you could even subscribe. That'd be awesome. The last day is just a straight shot back to the takeout point. So I'm just going to turn off the camera and enjoy the paddle. But if you want to see more like this, last year we did a trip on the Sunshine Coast. You can find that video somewhere in that corner and last month I did a solo trip with the dog and you can find that video somewhere over here it's been awesome thank you for watching see you on the next adventure